This is so weird to talk about. Ugh. Why are you putting that on your board if you believe you can't have it? Move in silence and know that you don't need validation from other people to live that life that you desire. Things just becoming true sometimes. I'm just saying, don't be shook when things happen for you because it will. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey where I talk everything lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. I know it's been a crazy hectic past year. I used to have a lot of fitness videos on this channel but I'm back to how it originated which is the lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and self-care all that kind of stuff so if that interests you guys i really hope that you stick around for this year to come i was just making my vision board and in the past you guys i used to have a vision board on a cork board so i like printed out pictures and everything like that but i had the idea this year to do a digital vision board and i love that idea so much more so as i was creating it i was thinking this would be really fun to actually do a video on it how i make mine and why it's so much better than doing your traditional cork board or poster board vision board and how to actually use it to get real results within 2023 so if you guys are excited definitely stick around thumbs up this video so more people can see it and get your iPads, your iPhones, or your laptops ready because you can use a digital uh, vision board for any device that you have. I think it's great for your phone and it's something that we're always using, we're always looking at, we're always reaching for every single day. So what better way to manifest than putting our vision board on something that we're literally looking at all the freaking time. I made this one this morning for the sake of doing a tutorial for you guys. Spoiler alert, this is not my actual vision board because mine is a lot more personalized. I have photos that I actually took on my own vision board, which I highly recommend you guys do that too because it puts more life into your vision board. It personalizes it so you can really visualize yourself living that life that you want to manifest. So this one, I just grabbed images off of apps like Pinterest, which I think is a great place to go. For that type of aesthetic, you can get tons of quotes on there. Literally any type of vibe you can find on Pinterest. Also, We Heart It is a great place. I think Pinterest is a little bit better. And also Instagram can be a great place to find inspo if you follow certain people and you really like something that they have that you would like to also manifest or create for yourself. Then save that image and you can put it right on to your vision board. So this one that I made is a wallpaper for your phone and your iPad. So I highly recommend putting this as your lock screen. I think it's just a great place to just see every single day versus like your wallpaper where it gets crowded up with icons and apps over the top. It's a little bit more distracting. So having it as your lock screen um, is great. And you could also make a vision board that is compatible to your laptop in the same dimensions so I do have one on my MacBook Pro as the wallpaper so whenever I open up my MacBook and it has like the lock screen where you have to type in your password you see your vision so I think that's just amazing it's just different dimensions so keep that in mind when you guys are making your digital vision boards where do you want to put it and then size it to that device let's get into how to create the perfect vision board for you for 2023 you guys and i'm sorry but saying 2023 just does not roll off the tongue i keep wanting to say 2016 because that was a great year but it's not baby it's 2023 and that is so weird Ugh, it's so crazy to me so the first thing that you want to do is ask yourself what is it that you want out of 2023 and keep in mind that no dream no desire no goal is too far-fetched I think sometimes we think that we need to dial back on what it is that we really want and we kind of sell ourselves short so really just think about what are the things that you want to attract this year and I know a lot of us our first thing is money we want more money and I feel like there's I mean that's great we love that but there's so much more that you can manifest and it can bring you so much happiness. I know for me, I wanted to manifest a lot 
more peace of mind and happiness in this new year because I knew what it was like to be in a sad depressive state and not have that clarity so that is something that is top tier on my list personally and I think when you have that peace of mind life is just so much more enjoyable and you just have a different experience you can manifest healthy relationships with your family you can manifest your dream partner you can manifest more abundance in your career field you can manifest a whole new career you can manifest living a healthy lifestyle you can manifest your body goals and also clear skin that's been something that i've struggled with a lot in the past is having cystic acne and a lot of red redness and hyperpigmentation and having that was not doing anything for my confidence so that was something last year that I really wanted to focus on and I think it worked what do you guys think also last year that's when I wanted to focus on my hair goals and going natural growing my hair out and learning more about my hair which I think I definitely did a good job at that and this year my goals are very much so the same I'm more so focused on growing my hair and growing healthy strong hair so that's on my list this year last year was also a really great year for me when it came to uh, like work because I was able to sign to what I feel is my dream collaboration which is EHP labs and working with them has been incredible I have the best manager ever and it's where I spent a lot of my own money in the beginning of my fitness journey and I fell in love so being able to work with them still is such a dream come true and I just want to continue on with a bomb partnership this year also last year I got a man so <laughs> that's been really cool that was on my vision board for a while when I made my cork board and wanting to have an amazing relationship because prior to that I came from a very toxic relationship that really just tore down my self-worth and confidence and I have really lost myself in that so being able to get out of something so low and to be introduced to such an amazing person completely transformed my year last year so there's really just so much that you can manifest and dream of and desire that is just more than just money whenever you think of abundance it's more than just money just know that and being healthy and strong I know I got sick a couple times last year and it was awful you guys like I got the Rona and it was not a fun time for me so I really do value having health and feeling my best and having high energy and wanting to go to the gym and be stronger this year so those are just some things that I wanted to mention on ideas of things that you can put on your vision board and also just sharing some personal things from my past year and kind of reflecting on that and that's what you want to do is reflect on your past year and see what you want to add to that or tweak that or what came true that you can kind of check off for your new board. So let's jump into how to create your digital vision board and I'm gonna show you guys my tutorial from this morning and take you through the steps of creating it and how you can personalize it to fit your needs, your aesthetic, and things that you want to welcome in for this new year.
so that's how I made my vision board, you guys, the digital vision board in Canva. I do pay for Canva every month. Highly recommend if you guys are creators because you just get more effects and you get actual images if you want to search within the Canva app for generic things like relationships. You'll get some photos of relationships that pop up and you could add cool wallpapers and cool text designs and you just have more features. But you can totally do this a free way. I would say you could probably use the notes app even and just save those images and copy paste them in, add your text and kind of situate them in a collage style and then save it as a wallpaper, like screenshot it maybe. I don't know. There's just ways and hacks. Y'all are smart. Y'all can figure it out. But that's just the app that I decided to go with when it came down to creating my vision board for both the iPad. And then also if you just type in the search bar, um, like wallpaper for computer vision board, those templates will also pop up for you guys. So now that we have our digital vision board, what the heck do we do with it? Well, the first thing you need to do is save it to your device as your wallpaper. Put it in a place that you look at often. So whenever I pick up my phone and I unlock that screen, I am greeted with the desired lifestyle that I want to attract this year. And again, make it personalized. Don't be afraid to get detailed with it don't be afraid to put something that you feel is out of reach because that's not possible this is life anything is possible right what's meant to be will always be for you and that's just i believe how life is for me i feel it's very similar to the law of attraction if you guys are familiar with that you ask you believe you receive so once we make our digital vision board and we set it as our lock screen or our wallpaper you need to actually use it as a tool and I think your subconscious mind will tap into this eventually because you're going to become kind of not numb to the fact that it is your wallpaper, but you won't really look at it and analyze it as much as you might if you focus in on it. So subconsciously, I might unlock my phone and I might see some dollar bills, but I'm not going to be like, oh, money. No, but subconsciously, I'll be thinking about that. So when you are thinking about that with your subconscious mind, it almost works to attract in a way that you're focused on maybe not going to Starbucks that day because you want to save some money. So that will in turn manifest more money in your bank account. Believe in the dreams and the desires that you want and know that nothing is too far-fetched for you to reach because I feel like everything that is meant for you will always be. And I do believe that we are always in the right place at the right time and you just can't mess up the things that are meant for you in this life. That's my own personal beliefs. You do what you want to do, but if you're watching this video, chances are you feel that way as well. So don't feel like you can't put something on your vision board because you feel like, oh, that's impossible. With that mindset, yes, it will be impossible, but you have to rewire your mind to think and believe that you can have that thing that you want, that lifestyle that you desire. I know I had a nine to five job when I was 19 and it was so miserable, you guys. I told myself I would never do this ever again because I didn't like being in a shared space with no windows with like 15 people at a desk for the majority of my day it was horrible horrible so I decided that I wanted to just work for myself ever since then I wanted to have my own hours I wanted to make my own schedule I wanted to collaborate and do the things that I wanted to do with who I wanted to do it with and here I am today and I am forever grateful for that because you have to go through these experiences to show you what you want out of life and what you don't want out of life then I thought it would not be possible for me to have a lifestyle that I wanted which was to work for myself full-time but if I had that mindset then and I still believed it I would not be where I am right now so that's just proof is in the pudding you guys I'm just saying don't feel like you can't do certain things because you will get in your own way at the end of the day and that's what you don't want okay we want this to be a positive space we want this to be a high vibrational loving positive space so don't have a negative connotation to an image that you put on your vision board and you look at it every time and you're like oh I just could never have that g-wagon or something why are you putting that on your board if you believe you can't have it that's not going to manifest in your year most importantly when we look at our vision board we need to believe that it is already here believe it as it is in the present moment not something that is in the future like i will have that no you need to say oh that is mine i feel so grateful to have this i feel so happy i feel so loved to be in this amazing healthy 
relationship with my dream partner. You need to have that mindset, present tense only, okay? No future tense, no past tense, present tense will get you those things. Whenever we look at our vision board, think about how we feel, think about who we're with, think about where we are in the world, like what city are we in, like, like what are we doing? Are we like shopping at luxury stores? Are we getting avocado toast at, I don't know, Parisian cafe? Are we walking down the street holding hands with our soulmate? Do we have a group of friends that we're going out with for the night? Like what are we doing? Set the mood, set the tone, visualize yourself there and feel all the feels that you would feel if you were in that moment as if it is already here. And I am getting chills talking about it, but that is how you use your vision board to make it work and actually manifest those things that you desire. So think about the moves that you're making, the conversations that you're having. I know for me, I'm trying to manifest big booty. So I'm trying to imagine myself, you know, in these moments, like what my butt looks like in a pair of leggings, you know, do I have the shelf booty going on? So I put a photo of my own glutes on my own vision board when it was looking really thick and plump and juicy. So I can look at that and remind myself how amazing I feel having that thing that I want. So that's why I also feel like it's amazing to put actual photos that you took or photos that have you in them or if you're in a relationship, put your man on your vision board, which is what I did, okay? And manifest those things into your life through those images. So I will also leave you guys on this note, which is very important, okay? And it is the tactic of moving in silence. I feel like there's so much power behind moving in silence and not being so open to just talk about the things that you want for yourselves and your goals with everybody around you in your life. I know not everybody has the same heart that we have, so sometimes opening up to the wrong person might backfire on you and not everyone wants to see you do well, not everyone wants to see you do good, and some people have smaller mindsets where you might have something very big on your dream board and that person you share with might say, oh, good luck. Have you ever talked to somebody and you shared like, oh, I can't wait, I'm gonna start this new fitness program, I'm gonna go to the gym, you know, got this cute gym fit, can't wait, and you're so excited and you're expressing these feelings to this person and they just say, oh, well, you already tried that last month, good luck. Don't be so open to share your desires with everybody. Sometimes I think the good things are better kept to ourselves and that way when you get to a space where you have that thing that's on your vision board you can kind of just pop off and they're gonna be like oh since when or how did you do that they're gonna be so shook that you did said thing and they're gonna want to ask you for advice how did you do that what did you do what's your secret girl no don't even give it to them because they were so quick to shut you down in the beginning when you said you wanted to do that and now that you did that it's like how did you do it and it's so crazy that that's how life works sometimes. So keep some things to yourselves, move in silence, and know that you don't need validation from other people to live that life that you desire. Have that confidence within yourself to know that. So those are all of my tips when it comes to creating the perfect digital vision board that will actually work in 2023. Let me know if you guys are going to be making your own vision board for this year and did you already make yours? I'm sure you already did. And what things have you manifested from the past year? I just want to know. I just want to know. They're crazy. Things just becoming true sometimes. I'm just saying. Don't be shook when things happen for you because it will. <laughs> Thumbs up so more people can see this video on YouTube. Subscribe if you guys are new and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!